Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray and I'm back with another reading. This is for Divine Feminine. We're going to see what messages Spirit has for Divine Feminine. Um, Before I jump into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at underscore Justine and Nicole? Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading new material. Um, public service announcement. I am a certified life coach, spiritual coach. Um, I help people build their confidence. I help people get over obstacles. Um, anything they feel like is hindering them from becoming the best versions of themselves. I help my clients, uh, overcome those obstacles. I motivate my clients, um, so if you if you or someone you know need some type of motivation, they need advice, they need some type of assistance getting through, you know, anything, any life uh, circumstances, any tough uh, decisions, whatever you need, hit me up. I help people get through these life situations. Uh. So, Spirit, we're going to see what messages Spirit has for Divine Feminine. Spirit, what messages do you have for Divine Feminine? Spirit, what messages do you have for Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine, uh, straight up, this is a warning. Somebody could be coming at you with some bullshit. Yeah, this is a warning. So, Divine Feminine, play your cards right and, um, be careful when this situation arrives. Uh, I feel like if you entertain this bullshit i have baby look okay i feel like if you entertain this fuck shit <laughs> that's about to come on if you entertain this it will be a victory for the other person um if you don't entertain this then it will be a victory for you divine feminine be freaking careful um hold on let me check something Oh, wow. Divine Feminine. I feel like it could be more than one person. I feel like people coming to you to start some shit because they bored with themselves. They unhappy in their life or... In their situation, in their relationship, somebody depressed, <laughs> somebody, um, somebody, yeah, they just bored, depressed, they just need something to do. And I feel like Divine Feminine, you could be entertaining. I just heard funny, you could be funny or something. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like. It's these people or this person is coming in for some type of excitement to get you riled up or some shit. And once they get you riled up, it's going to be a victory for you. Somebody feed on your emotions or somebody like when you're upset because they know like, okay, yes, I got her, um... I got under her skin. Yes, Divine Feminine cussing me out, calling me all types of bitches, hoes, fuck niggas. Yes, that means she still care. Yes, that means I still have some type of hold on her. Um, This is another message. Somebody wants to come in to make sure like they important or they can still 
take your emotions or has some type of effect on your emotions, Divine Feminine. I just heard test. Somebody's about to test you. Somehow. Divine Feminine, I feel like this situation is over. Really, this shit is over, but somebody want to, like, give it a test. I just heard a test drive <laughs> to make sure, like, okay, should I come in and fuck with Divine Feminine? And if I do, if she get angry, that means that it's not over. But this card came out upright. So, Divine Feminine, I feel like you're smarter than these people. Just be careful when they come back in. Yeah, be real careful. Oh, what I was getting ready to check. Somebody, another reason why somebody coming back in, somebody is stuck in the past. Somebody is stuck on when y'all used to argue, when y'all used to fight. Somebody is stuck on that. I just, yeah, I feel like somebody is still stuck in the past because they don't got nothing going on in their life now. Another message, I feel like somebody... How can I explain this? Divine Feminine. I feel like you said some things to this person or to these people. And whatever you said, you like hit below the belt. Like you didn't just hit below the belt, but you did a, a combo like poof, poof, poof. Boom, under the belt, right? Like, uh, I feel like whatever you said to these people, it was a knockout in the first round. And it's like these people are back for vengeance or <laughs> this, <laughs> these people or this, I mean, it could be a person or it could be Two people, multiple people. Divine Feminine, you could have like a badass, smart ass mouth. Um, especially when you're angry. Divine Feminine, I feel like when you're angry, it's like you bring a gun to a knife fight. Or <laughs> it's like Divine Feminine, when you angry, it's like you don't give a fuck. Um, I don't know who, which divine feminists I'm picking up on, but it's some divine feminists out there that don't give a fuck. They will talk shit about you, your mama, your kids, uh, your family members. Um, uh, they will talk shit about you. They they will just say whatever comes to their mind, and they don't give a fuck. I just heard dead relatives, divine feminine. You could have made fun of somebody, dead relatives. This ain't going to resonate for uh, some divine feminists out there. But the point I'm trying to make is I feel like you got a smart ass. You got a crazy ass mouth. And when you when you mad, it's like you can't control what you say. Right? And whatever you said, it's been, it's stuck with these people or a person. It's just stuck with them. Like... <laughs> And I feel like they can't get over some of the things you said. I feel like Divine Feminine, you can be so disrespectful to where these people or this person, they never experienced no shit like that before. So it's like you left a brain, you left a uh, you left a piece of yourself on these people's brain with the, and you didn't even realize that you did this. This could have been like in the heat of, in the moment and y'all both could have been exchanging words, but some of the shit that you said, they like, oh hell no. Nah. Like you could have talked about how these people look. People dicks being little and out. I don't look divine feminine. I don't know what the fuck you said to trigger these people, but whatever 
you said or did to these people. It's like they... I just heard acceptance. Like, it's like they want your acceptance or... <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Whatever you said, Divine Family, you fuck with these people's self-esteem. Or you make these people feel so low about themselves. Divine Feminine, you got, if these are people or a person, you got, like, no bullshit. My cards talk to me, and what I do is relay the message, right? Divine Feminine, without you even knowing this, you got these people's self-esteem and confidence in the palm of your hand. And I feel like how these people move what they do is to get some type of approval. I just heard respect. Like they they want some type of approval, some type of respect. They want your they want you to acknowledge them or I heard props. Like somebody wants you to give them props. Somebody Divine Feminine, I don't know if you know this about yourself, but bitch, you is powerful. Like, you real powerful for, and low-key, I feel like it's more than one person. Divine Feminine, I feel like you hurt these people so bad to where it's like now, it's up to you to make these people feel good about themselves. <laughs> Bro, this shit is wild. This is fucking wild. Whoa. It's like you hurt these people, but yet you have the ability to uplift these people too. And these people, they want you to uplift them. And I feel like the way they want, they want to argue with you. And they feel like it by you arguing back, that will make them feel better. Because they will feel like, okay, well... I guess she must still care if I can still get under her skin or something. But Divine Feminine, fuck with these people even more and just ignore them. If you ignore them, they gonna die, okay? Look, these people or this person, they barely holding on now. But if you was to completely ignore the fuck out of them... These people will fucking die, okay? They won't even know how to survive. Right now, they barely hanging on. But Divine Feminine, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Okay, let me check something. Yeah, Divine Feminine, my advice when these people come in, it's simple. Just ignore them. Everything people do is to get a reaction out of you. That's just human nature. People want to feel important. People want to feel noticed, right? The, whoever I'm talking about, one simple thing. Bitch, look the other way. Look the other way. Don't look at these people. Don't pay these people no attention. They want to get you upset. They want to get you riled up. Uh, oh, I just heard they want you to feel how they feel. Divine Feminine, whatever you said or did to these people, you really hurted these people. I just heard cry. You could have made these people cry, and you didn't even know this. Um, they It's like they just want they want to get their lick back. Look. Bitch, I got the devil and I got the high priestess. So, it came out like this. The five of wands, the devil, high priestess. Divine feminine, bitch, be ten steps. With this high priestess card, bitch, be ten steps ahead of these people. These people thinking they so smart and clever. Somebody could, this could be somebody master plan to come in to fuck with you. But divine feminine, bitch, we divine beings over here, bitch. We 10 step, bitch, we can see that shit a mile away, okay? Bitch, you not coming in fucking up my happiness, or you not about to get no reaction out of me. Bitch, we 10 steps ahead of these people. I'm telling you, these people are fucking stupid. They, 
Who Lord? They stupid. I feel like these people still want to continue to like fuck with you because you hurt them so bad to where it's like these people have no choice but to get their lick back. <laughs> like, <laughs> whoo. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody, you're going to definitely hear from somebody. Or somebody going to come in. But I feel like the reason why they they coming in to start some shit. But I feel like these people or this person, it could be a female. I feel like this female actually like you. But how they show it, they come across like they don't like you. Or they come across like they want to fight. You know, they come across as drama. But deep down, I feel like this person actually like you and they want to come together. I just heard travel. This person could be wanting to travel with you and do all types of shit with you. But how it's like they, the way they show that they like you or like people, it comes across as in, I don't, I don't like you. It's like they, I can't put it into words, but how this person this person is kind of conflicting. It's like they act mean towards you because they like you. And then if they act nice towards you, it's because they don't. I think I said it wrong. This person, they act mean towards you. Yeah, okay, they act mean towards you because they like you. And then if they act nice, it's because they don't like you. But I feel like in this case, Divine Feminine, this person... It's acting mean towards you. Or I just heard bully towards you. Because they actually like you. Divine Feminine. This is some crazy ass shit. This could be a couple. This could be divine masculine and the karmic. Or it can be like two different people that you don't fuck with anymore. People that you cut off. Okay, if this is a couple, the crazy part is. I feel like they both planning on getting you back into their life or they both planning on what can they do to have you around. Like, okay, if this is Divine Masculine and the Karmic, some per somebody is feeling like, okay, so how all three of us can be cool? Or how all three of us can, <laughs> you know, come together and benefit from this situation? And then this person is like, damn. How can I get Divine Feminine back? All I just want to do is, uh, I want her back so we can travel the world together, do shit together, have fun together. I feel like both people are looking at you like this. But yet these people, <laughs> if this is a couple, if this is Divine Masculine, Divine, uh, if this is Divine Masculine and the Karmic Divine Feminine, you could have argued with these people, cussed these people out. You could have hurt their feelings about some of the shit that you said. I just heard unforgivable. I feel like some of the shit you said about these people was just so... I heard disgusting and unforgivable. Like, bitch, you didn't give a fuck what you said. But whatever you said, it stuck with these people. And it's like these people have mixed emotions, mixed feelings for you. Like, one minute, fuck Divine Feminine. I beat that hoe up. I can't stand that hoe. And then the next minute, hmm, I wonder... Like, what if we all can just get along? Or, like, what if me and Divine Feminine can actually be together and we can just get over what happened in the past? Or we can do, like, a little vacation and, you know, we can go um, see all the other countries and have fun and be on a yacht. You know, it's like somebody, one person is thinking like that while the other person, like, okay, well, fuck it. What if we all can just be cool? Or what if we all can just be with Divine Masculine? Like, what if we all can just have a three-way relationship? It's like, this is... <laughs> ah! 
Bro, my cards don't fucking lie, man. Like, my cards. <laughs> and then it's like somebody is weighing out the options on what can they do to bring you back in their life or what. Yeah, it's like, what can they do? Like, okay. Should I buy divine uh, feminine some jewelry? Should I buy something expensive? Should I um hip I heard hypnotize her with some dick or something? <laughs> uh it's like somebody just trying to figure out should I su surprise divine feminine with a a, a trip to Greece or some shit. It's like this person or who these people, when they think about you, they think of above and beyond. Because Divine Feminine, this, what I'm about to say, bro, these people look at you as a god, right? And they feel as though you not just any old body, so, by them, how these people want to come forward, it's like they want to come forward correct. And when they come forward, they don't want to just come forward with some flowers or flowers and chocolate or something. Somebody want to come in and say, you know what? Pack your bags, bitch. We going to Greece for two weeks. It's like that's how somebody look at Divine Feminine like you deserve the best or you deserve... Like the moon and the, the stars in the sky. It's like that's how somebody look at you. They don't look at you as average or something. And then the other person, they feel like, well, if this is like a divine masculine and the karmic, somebody feel like, okay, well, if the divine masculine loves divine feminine, well, I love her too because I love him. So whoever he loves, I love them just as much, you know, or the thing is, this is the tea, baby. The tea is that I just heard platonic friends. The tea is that somebody or both people could realize that they are friends or they're better off as friends or they're better off as you know, uh, being platonic. This could be a divine masculine and a karmic. They feel, I mean, like I said, this could be both people feeling that way. Or this could be the karmic or divine, whoever it resonates. Somebody feel like they better off as friends. So, they 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 feel like, okay, well... Why won't all three of us just be cool? Or, you know, I'm not tripping. You, you and Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, y'all can be together. I'm not tripping. But I still want to be y'all friend. You know, I still want to fuck with y'all. Y'all cool, y'all funny, whatever. It's like that's how somebody is viewing this situation. Or it could be the Divine Masculine. The divine masculine still wants to be with um divine feminine, but he's saying like, okay, well, what if you know I do be with divine feminine, but I still keep the karmic around because I mean she is a cool person, you know, like she cool as fuck, <laughs> you know, um, the bitch may be crazy, cuckoo, a lunatic, but. This girl is a sweet girl or she, you know, she's really cool. Like she, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I still keep her around. Like, why not fuck it? It's like, this is how somebody looking at this. Who child, divine feminine. Divine Feminine, yeah, I feel like somebody, I have the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. It came out like that. I feel like somebody wants to be with you. This could be this Divine Masculine, but they feel like if they was to tell you they want to be with you, they feel like you will leave them. Somebody feel like you know they're the one for you too. 
but somebody know like you're not afraid to walk away or you're not afraid to let this person go. Another message I'm getting, I feel like this karmic want to be with you too. <laughs> Who are these people on your nuts like this, Divine Feminine? This is crazy. I just heard friends. I feel like this karmic wants to be your friend. But it's a fear, like, when I feel like these people or this person is going to come forward, but when they come forward, it's going to be on some bullshit. And by you not engaging with these people, because I have the death card out here, I feel like it, it's, uh, you're putting death and in, into how things used to be. I feel like you putting an end to letting these people get under your skin or you putting an end to going off on these people. And by you putting an end to that, these people or this person know that you're serious, like you're not playing no more. Who child. Look, I have the world card and the moon card and the five of swords. I feel like by you not giving into these people, arguing with these people, the secret is that you won. The secret is that Divine Feminine, you won. The secret is that you actually make these people your bitches or you make these people look up to you. You make these people look at you like you a fucking god. Another secret is these people, they feel defeated by you. They feel like they lost. Bro, this reading was deep as fuck. I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.